The Trouble With Four Stories by Babette Cole The first story is The Trouble With Mum The trouble with mum is the hats she wears. At first, the other kids gave me funny looks when she took me to my new school. She didn't seem to get on with the other parents. They kept asking me where my dad was. Mum says he's staying put until he stops going to the pub. Teacher asked us if our mums would make cakes for the school governor's tea. Mum made some. They were a disaster, but the kids thought they were brilliant. They asked if they could come and play at my house. I didn't know what they would think of it. Their parents said they couldn't come, but they came anyway. They liked our pets. They met Gran. Mum behaved very well. We all went wild. Then their parents turned up and ruined everything. They told Mum off. Mum was sad. My new friends were fed up. They said, your mum's okay, but we're not allowed to come over anymore. Then one day the school caught fire. We thought we were going to roast. Mum beat all the fire engines. She put out the fire before any of the others arrived. They couldn't thank her enough. Now we all go wild at my house. The Trouble with Dad The trouble with Dad is his boring job. If he didn't have such a boring job, then he wouldn't spend all his spare time in the shed making robots. Mum nagged Dad about the robots. They all went wrong, but that didn't stop him. He made a robotic grass cutter. He even made some robots to help with the house. He made a robotic hushabye baby improver. And one for seeing old ladies across the road. Then there was the slimming robot and the one for catching jewel thieves. He made a whole football team of robots. My friends and I challenged them to a match, but they were unbeatable. They reached the first division.
Dad's robots became famous. They wanted to make a TV program about them. But before the camera crew could start, my baby brother found the multi-laser twister operator. When he started it up, the robots went crazy all over town. Luckily, the little horror dropped it. Then my friends and I rounded up the robots for the program. Dad had to pay for all the damage. A very rich man saw Dad's robots on the telly. He bought every single one of them. Mum was delighted. He put them in the desert in Arizona. He called them works of art. We got rich. Dad didn't have to do his boring job anymore. Now we both make robots. The trouble with Gran. The trouble with Gran is secretly she's an alien. None of the other old age pensioners suspected a thing. Until our teacher tried to organise an outing for them to Withorp as our school project. But we want to go somewhere hot and exciting, said Gran. Withorp was awful. Gran started to play up. We went to an old time music hall. Gran did not like the singing. Oh, I do like to be beside the ooh. And there was a glamorous grandma contest. Gran cheated, of course. She really livened up the fun fair. We were asked to leave the amusement arcade. On the Lunar Landscape tour, Gran met some friends. She took them to the tea rooms. I've lost my off. So we missed the bus home. Teacher blamed Gran. We've had enough of this dump, said Gran. Fasten safety belts. We zoomed towards Gran's planet and landed just in time for carnival. Gran did the limbo and climbed a bloomer nut tree. We were sad to leave but Gran had to get home to feed the cat. We landed in the school playground with a bump. Mum and Dad marched Gran away. You're too old for that sort of thing now, they said. That's what they think, muttered Gran. And when she got home, she opened her own travel agency in Dad's garage. The Trouble with Grandad The trouble with Grandad is he grows such enormous vegetables. They won all the prizes at the vegetable show. 
The other exhibitors were very jealous. We'll fix him, they said. So one of them gave him a funny looking tomato plant. It grew quite big. Then bigger and bigger until it was taller than the local police station. Grandad was arrested for growing a dangerous vegetable. The police asked the fire brigade to spray Grandad's tomato with weed killer. And the army to blow it up and the Secret Service to destroy it with a secret weapon. But it just kept growing, so they let Grandad out to see if he could stop it. It's got worms, said Grandad. Sure enough, out popped a ginormous caterpillar. It ate and ate until the tomato had gone. Then it went to sleep. That night some prisoners broke out of their cells. But they soon ran back in again. The caterpillar turned into a chrysalis. The police station couldn't take the strain. Crash! The police were furious with Grandad. Luckily, the chrysalis turned into a huge moth just in time. Back at the allotment, Grandad hollowed out his biggest ever cucumber. The police are very happy with their new station, but they have to watch out for the slugs. The end. Temutunga.